Good rising guys and welcome to my Edinburgh vlog day 11 yes I think it's day 11 and the 29th of July uh, so today I'm gonna start the morning by going to a fully vegan restaurant called chapter 1 I'm gonna take the bus it's gonna be like a 30 minute ride and yeah I'm gonna go there for breakfast and from there I'm gonna continue to a place called Dean Village it's a really pretty little, uh, like a village town in the middle of Edinburgh, so that's gonna be nice. And from there, I'm gonna continue to the botanical garden. Uh, yeah, so that's so that's what we plan for today, and let's go. As for today outfit, I'm wearing my very uh, warm tights once again. They're so comfy and warm from the inside. Don't think you can see. Uh, this this pink shirt with the back open so I put the black t-shirt beneath and my rainbow jacket it's not really a jacket it's more like a sweater I really like it the only thing I don't like it it doesn't have pockets I do like to put my hands in the pockets outside when it gets cold so if I could only add some pockets uh, as for the ring I have my beautiful unicorn ring and to match it, my unicorn earrings that they made for my hammer beads. Okay, and that's it. We're all set to go. Oh, sunny outside. Okay, so I need to catch last 25. didn't add the exact uh, chain so I put three of my instead. Kinda hard to get to 180. You need a lot of small chains. From the plants to the lightning on the wall. Okay, so it is my vegan British breakfast. It's huge. I have a scrambled tofu, toast, eggies, hot dog, and some eggs, and red meat. So let's start the food review of this lovely fully vegan cafe. I start with the scrambled tofu that was yummy, it was well seasoned with soft crumbly texture. From there I moved to the red beans, well you can't really go wrong with warm red beans in tomato sauce and they went really well with a thick piece of toast. Next thing I've tried was the haggis, hot dog and bacon. Those felt quite heavy on the stomach and I wasn't really a fan of the smoky flavors. I did enjoy dipping the potato scone that remind me of a very thin pancake or malawach in the red bean sauce. Overall, I think it was an interesting experience to try, but definitely not something I would eat on a daily basis. Maybe except for the scrambled tofu. That is much as I managed to eat. I like the red beans, the scrambled tofu, those not so much. And this is a bit too much bread and butter for me. I will explore if I finish it. I do want the dessert, so let's see what they have. Okay, 
Okay, so this is the result. I got a little red velvet cake. Look how cute it looks. Presentation-wise, it just look adorable. I like how the pink elegant plate match the color of the cake. I also want to mention how lovely and kind was the service and I really enjoyed the ambience of the place. Texture-wise, it reminded me of a sponge cake that was a bit too dry and dense, but the cream was tasty and it wasn't too sweet. So overall, I'm gonna give chapter 1 a 9. Okay, time right now is 11 and I'm heading to Dean Village, which is supposed to be not far from here. Okay, we are here at Dean Village. I think there's supposed to be a bridge soon. Oh, I can't. I barely see them. And it is the bridge. Wow, it's so pretty here. <laughs> Look at the cute doggy. continue from here to the botanical garden. I think I'm almost almost at the exit. Okay, the place was beautiful, very touristy, a lot of people on the bridge, but I can say that for most part of Edinburgh. And we're out. Not a lot of cars, which is nice. Look how pretty. Reborn just like a fin. Keep on going. From ashes to the zenith. Look, it's a free doggy here yeah, next to the pole. Probably waiting for his owner. But how would have I done without you dancing like some twisted? All of us will not be gone. Oh, yes, I'm. That looks like a cool stuff. is 12 p.m. and the botanical garden is supposed to be here. On my left, I just need to look for an entrance. Well, at least it's there in the right direction, so a bit more to the gate. Okay, botanic garden, this gate. We're here, yay! Yes, I'm scared. shoes. Okay, it looks like one big garden. Where should we go first? Oh, they have a map here. Let's see. 
table with the foxes in the garden. Okay, so we're out here right now. I want to reach. Those flowers are pretty. Wow, check how big is this leaf. Oh, and they have spikes. Ooh, let's go and turn it. Take this road. Look at this big seagull. What is he planning? Okay, so what's here? Chinese hillside. Exploring the plants of Napa. Okay, so we reached the top of the hill. Tree of flavors. I think there is a coffee shop here. Okay, let's see if there is a way down from the coffee store. Look how pretty are the berries coming down from the tree. Did I visit her? Did I came from here? Quite confused. It takes Let's follow the kids. Okay, so I'm here. We saw this part. And I already saw this part. So right now, I'm going here. Okay, I definitely haven't been here already. It's like a huge gate made out of plants. This is cool. Look how big are those uh, tawny plants are. Wow. It's like we left the botanical garden and entered a forest. Takes all your will. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, it's a hidden bench. Don't think a lot of people sit on this bench. I keep him company. That's for a bit. It takes more than clinging to survival. It takes more than best to them plots. Oh, 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 oh. And it takes oh, they have pearls here. Mm. You see? Right here. Oh, all these little things are not oh, oh, oh. oh, a little ladybug. So cute. Join the pen. And here they have raspberry. Oh, and here they grow apples. It's a great garden. And they have apples. More flowers. Wow, look at this one. They call it wind kilt. Like it's made out of paper. wonder what they do with all the vegetable and fruit so they used to donate it but now it go to their uh, community 
How many butterflies? Oh, look. It's a tragic story. One of them is locked inside while the other one is outside. Oh my gosh. It's like Romeo and Juliet. And they want to go together. But they can't because it's locked. Cool thing. Look like kale. <laughs> pretty, pretty garden. Near the pumpkin. Now we're entering Queen Mother Memorial Garden. Those flowers are gorgeous. Look how pretty. Good smell here. Oh, yeah, they have roses. I like how the walls made out of shells. Alpine Alps and Country Alps. Hey, who? Hey, who? The country, how do we go? The new Alpine house. What happened to the old one? Plants of Tufa Wall. Mm, and there is a small pond here. end of the road maybe you should head back okay so now we're gonna find the toilet so right now we're at the shopping store it's a very pretty place is this bad so Such a good uh, soap smell in here. Those are tiny gloves. There's some music coming from up ahead. Like there's some kind of concert. Let's go check what it is. It's coming from the studio there. It's like, hey, tonight, I love this song. Amy McDonald. Where are you gonna go? Where are you gonna go? Where are you gonna sleep tonight? Where are you gonna sleep tonight? Okay, so I finished with the botanical garden and now I'm going uh, to another fully vegan restaurant, like 20 minutes walk from this place. This place have vegan bagels, but I think up there they have vegan donuts. Okay, right here. They're so hard to find when they have this uh, upper and bottom row. Really need to pay attention. Oh, the bottom row is all vegan. Okay, so I took the vanilla donut. So soft. So soft. Okay, let's fill up my sugar craving. Ta da, come on.
to the next stop, the last restaurant for today probably, called Almani. Oh, it's so cute. There's three of them. Okay, so time right now is almost 2.30 p.m. and we're almost there at Almonium, a fully vegan restaurant. I'm still quite full from the donut I ate all year, uh, so let's see how much I managed to eat. That's cool, it looks like another uh, pet store. Oh wow, I love the window store. So cute. Okay, so I just took some goodies for Lana and a little surprise for Hector as well. Now let's just hope it's surviving the suitcase. Now I need to cross. Okay, and we're here. Harmonium. <laughs> Harmonium? Let's see where is the entrance. Okay, so this is the menu. I took this one. Strawberry spinach, red onion salad, and the buffalo cauliflower. Okay, so here I got the food. This is the strawberry and leaf salad, and here is the buffalo wings, which made out of cauliflowers. Okay, let's dig in. This fully vegan restaurant had the vibe of a diner or a local pub and most of the food fit the style meaning it wasn't fancy but more of a deep fried a simple fast food kind. I took the salad that came with strawberry, cherry tomato, onion and lettuce as well as vegan feta and a slight hint of vinegar sauce. The vegetables were fresh but it need more seasoning. I also took the buffalo cauliflower. Uh, I wasn't a big fan of this dish, it was way too spicy and it also had a strong bitter barbecue taste. The restaurant is quite big and they also have a lot of other options on their menu, so maybe I just haven't picked the top ones. Uh, so overall I'm gonna give them an 8. Okay, so I finished my meal at Harmony, I think that's the name. It was alright, I wasn't a fan of the cauliflower barbecue cauliflower. It was too spicy and a bit too bitter. I think too much paprika. Yeah, I feel like most of British food I, I eat is too heavy. They just put, you know, not enough uh, vegetables and too much uh, seitan, seitan, and too much seitan. So it feels quite heavy on the tummy. A lot of bread, a lot of heavy foods. I wish it had more uh, vegetables and fruit in it. Okay, so now it's like a 15, 15 minute walk and a back to the hotel. Ooh, roses. Ah, my back. Okay, so time right now is almost 4 p.m. and I just got to my hotel. And now I want to try this uh, fudge I bought from the Black Rabbit store two days ago. Let's try it as a dessert. Nom, nom, nom. Okay, don't want to open it too much because I'm probably not going to finish it. So let's just take a piece. Here we go. A small piece. And let's try. Ta-da, Mmm! Mmm! Weird taste. Not sure I like it. I do feel the big chunks of the sea salt. It kind of has the taste of an old candy. It tastes like a very old caramel, caramel candy. And it kind of dissolving in your mouth the more uh, you chew it. So I like this neck more. It's also a fad, chocolate, uh, chocolate fudge, and the inside is made out of soy. It's kind of hard to bite, but I do like the taste. Mm -hmm. This one, in my opinion, is much better. Uh, anyway, this is gonna be the end of the vlog for today. I'm gonna rest. Uh, 
edit, maybe watch something. And yeah, I'll see you tomorrow and at my last full day at Edinburgh because uh, two days from now I'm going back to London and from there uh, I still have two days and then back home. Okay, so if you like, leave a like and subscribe and bye for now.